Alrighty, guys, we are live again this week. Welcome back to the Korean Cowboys podcast. Yes, yes, yes. And you waited, anticipated, and we finally brought it to you. We got an episode that's going to be not only fun for you guys, but also super fun for us. Yes. You want to take a guess at why? So we gotten a lot of uh, comments and emails saying, we want to have it. We want you guys to do an episode about drinking. Mm -hmm. So this week we will be talking about drinking and everything that comes with it. Yes, yes, yes. And don't get confused, guys. We did not drink anything yet. Yes. You know, we are just excited to be seeing you guys for another episode this week. That's why. Yeah. We're being all extra right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I guess let's just jump right into the into the conversation. Um, mm -hmm. When did you have your first drink? Uh, my first drink. I was in Korea. Mm. And it was when I turned 20 in Korean age. Nice. So I think that was, I mean, it's been a while now, but mm. uh, it's, been, it's been a while. And the first alcohol that I think I've ever had. Now, I can I don't consider little sips, sips of my dad's beer here and there like real alcohol. That's more like, a you know, my dad's like, try it. And I hated it. But right. uh, was soju was the first alcohol soju. that I've ever drank. Ooh, soju yes. is a... The way to go man. it is it is it is you know what i'm saying like I, I i don't know i love i love drinking certain types of soju and as you guys <laughs> heard last time not things hopefully that were distilled in different ways to make me have allergic reactions but <laughs> yeah uh, how about you when did you first uh when did you have your first drink um i had my first drink uh same as you when i turned 20 in korea mm -hmm. the legal age um and I think my first drink ever was soju too. I oh, think. bro. Yeah. yeah. I had soju my first buddies. sip of soju and uh, I've never looked back, you know. <laughs> I got to say, I, I do like soju. Do you do you find soju to be like the, the go all, like go to, like alcohol, like you're like, you know, a day after like a hard day of work, you're like, oh, I need some soju. Like, is it that kind of, is it that kind of relationship or you do you, certain days where you want different types of alcohol? You know what I'm saying? I think it depends on the type of day it is. Mm -hmm. Let's say it's like a gathering. Mm -hmm. Then I think soju is like a very good alcohol of choice, mm -hmm. choice of alcohol, because um, number one, like the alcohol percentage isn't too high. Right. You know, and um, it, it, it takes a, a while for you to get drunk off of soju, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I guess if, if you're like a good drinker. Mm hmm. Um, whereas like, let's say? say like, if you're taking shots of whiskey, uh -huh. like you'd probably get drunk, like within, right. like the first like 30 minutes, you know? Right. Well, I think, I think throughout today's show, we'll get into the intricacies of certain types of alcohol and how, well, how I choose to drink them. Yeah. Um, and we'll get into the soju too. Cause you know, soju goes really good with a lot of Korean food. Yeah. So it's pretty unavoidable if you live here. Yeah. But yeah. And you guys are probably wondering what this bottle is. Mm. This is one soju. Yes. Um, it was made by, uh. J Park. J Park. Park Jae Bum. Yeah. Yes, Park Jae Bum Sambin Nim. Sambin Nim. Yeah. Uh, so um, it's actually like really hot right now. It's really hard to get. But an, an acquaintance, acquaintance of ours yes. uh, actually uh, gifted it to us. Got the hook up. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, we haven't opened it yet, but we are going to open it right now. Yes, let's try. I'm actually really curious. I'm I've actually heard, very curious. Too. I've yeah. never tried it. So I've heard so much about it that like I've, yeah. I've, I've wanted, I've been wanting to try it. So yeah. you get kind of a review and a podcast all wrapped into one little Christmas package, Here we as go. they say. Three. Two, one, two. <laughs> All right. Ooh, how's it smell? Ooh, Let me try. It smells kind of sweet. Mm. Ooh, yeah, that does smell good, right? Mmm, I like that. Pour, All right, pour me, pour me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Some yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Kure, kure. Oh yeah. I'm actually very curious. Okay. I've heard uh, very good reviews about this soju, so... All right. Me being, personally being like a soju lover. The connoisseur of alcohol that you are. The connoisseur of soju. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers. All right, are we doing this the classy way, like where we sip it, or are we doing it the... Uh, drink however you want, man. Okay. That's and to the everyone else drinking. Yes. Who, who are of age, to all of you guys that are of age, mm -hmm. if you guys uh, want to drink something with us, if you guys have a drink in your hands, 
Cheers with this. Yes. Pause this video, run to the kitchen, get a glass and some liquor and or your drink of choice responsibly and join us in our drinking adventure. Yes. And if you're underage, orange juice or, or Coke or whatever you guys want to drink. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's something non-alcoholic. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. That's very, what you were saying, Korea. Kaikume. It's very, it's very smooth. Yeah. Very wow. smooth. It doesn't taste like any other soju I've ever had before. That's good. I like that. Sorry, I'm smacking into the, the mic, but it, <laughs> it's just good. No, it's really good. It's like super smooth. doesn't really have that like that, that aftertaste that soju leaves. Yeah, like, you know, sometimes like when you take a shot of anything, not just soju, but yeah, like, yeah. you have like the, like the, the half second where you're like, oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. It's, it's, oh, Ooh. I can feel it in my stomach. Ooh, it's Ooh. getting lit in here, y'all. Well, the, per- <laughs> the percentage right now for this is 22%. Oh, wow. That's higher than normal soju, isn't so it? So most sojus that people drink, they're from like, what, 15 to like 19, right, 20%. Right. The stronger ones are like 20, 21, mm-hmm. 25 um, but it's actually very smooth. Oh, yeah, I like that. I'm very that. surprised. I like that. So, are you going to top me off? or? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see why people mm. drink this a lot these wow, days. I, I feel so lucky that I managed to get one. Yeah, right? Ooh. It's like impo- it's, appa- it's apparently, apparently really hard to get a, a bottle of this these yeah, days. Yeah, that's so. good. Wow. Yeah, so I definitely recommend you guys try this because this is some good soju. Yeah, I think like a lot of people that like maybe don't like soju, I mm-hmm. think they would like this. Right, right. Yeah, because like, you know, soju has that, like I said, like that lingering aftertaste yeah. of alcohol, but this mm-hmm. is very smooth. It doesn't have that. Yeah, I'm no, surprised. definitely. You know, I kind of like, now that I took a shot of this, yeah. I kind of want to eat like samgyeops. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just ate a hamburger, but I like, I kind of want to eat samgyeops right now. Yeah, like, if you guys are wondering, we just had a burger Yeah, we dinner. just ate dinner. So, yeah. but um, anyway, yeah, so... Mm. Ooh. Ew, can we not smack into the mic? I'm, like, I'm sorry. No, that's really good. Huh. So audibly distressing. <laughs> All right, Joel. So you said you mm-hmm. first drank alcohol when you were 20 years old yes. in Korea. Mm-hmm. What was that experience like? Well, um, I actually, so I didn't, I, was, I wasn't really knowledgeable on alcohol. And so I didn't really know what to expect. I went from zero to 100 the first time I ever drank. Oh. And it was very painful how many me. bottles of soju did you drink uh i think it was somewhere so back back then like me and my friends this was like college time right right like around that time so like everyone was like oh well there was this thing where you would mix it with beer and cola it was called a dragon shot from back back you know back then i don't know what they call it now soju beer and cola yeah okay. but it was like it was a setup where like you have cola right. in a shot glass and then yeah. on top of you have soju in yeah. a shot glass and then you fill up the rest of the cup with beer oh back then it was called a dragon shot i don't know it was college (laughs) but um so i just like went to town i was like hey this is actually pretty good because you know you drink all of it and at the very end the coke comes out so it's like kind of sweet so i didn't realize what was going on so i ended up getting a little pretty tipsy and i was like i was like man like it was a it was a new feeling so i was like wow this is uh new right and i i think that at that time i actually ended up learning what it what it felt like to be tipsy Mm-hmm. Um, what it felt like to be really tired the next day. <laughs> That's basically <laughs> what happened. Like that was my first experience. I didn't go overboard or anything. So but you got drink, like, you drank, you got drunk, and then you were hungover the next day. Yeah, m- mildly hungover. Yes. I mean, it was it was an experience. Experience. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how about you? My first experience. Um, gosh, it's been so long. It's been like ten years now. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Um, my first experience. I had soju. I think I drank maybe like two bottles. Oh, wow. That's a lot for a beginner. Yeah. Um, I think I did get a little drunk. I wasn't too drunk. Mm-hmm. Um, next day, like a mild hangover like you. Oh, but, that's um, not bad. Yeah. Uh, I do remember, though, the first time that I ever drank, it was with someone that was older than me. Mm-hmm. And I remember uh, that person saying, wow, you're actually like a like a pretty strong drinker. And I was like, really? Huh. And you know what I think? <laughs> I think that person's <laughs> words haven't left you to this day because you still, to this day, uh, brag about how good of a drinker you are. <laughs> I mean, I, I can hold my alcohol. I, I can hold my liquor. I can too. Don't you think? Listen, All right, we'll move on. <laughs> Aaron, <laughs> Aaron and I drink together a lot. So, you know, we, you know, we always kind of test each other's tolerance. <laughs> it's happened. It's happened. But we'll maybe get into that later. <laughs> so, um, drinking, do you enjoy drinking? Okay. So here's the deal. I did in college. I loved drinking. Like it was like a thing. You know what I mean? Like I was, it was my go-to thing to do on the weekends. Right. And then what actually, this is actually true. What happened was, was when I became a trainee, I gave up alcohol altogether. Oh, wow. All the way until my group disbanded. 
which was a, a couple years. I didn't have a sip of alcohol that whole time. Probably what, three years? Yeah, about that. Wow, So really? I didn't have anything. So you were around, around the time where I started to get back into like social drinking. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, okay, okay. And it was never you. like out of control, but like, you know, it, it was like I got back into actually drinking. Because I find that it, for me personally, it makes me a little like it draws me from my motivations. You know what I mean? Right. If you're like tired all day, you don't want to do anything. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? I agree. Yeah. So like, that's kind of why I think I stopped. Yeah. Definitely. But, uh, yeah, that was kind of where that whole thing went. I mean, I enjoy it though. It's very fun. I mean, you obviously enjoy it. (laughs) I mean, yeah. yeah, Like I, I do like drinking in like social environments. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess not so much these days because like we're so busy just like, you know, just editing and stuff for the podcast. But, um, how often do you think you drink? So I think if you were to ask me this question a couple years ago before COVID happened, right, it would be a very different answer. And the truth is, is, you know, not just in Korea, but worldwide, uh, I was like, you know, I would drink maybe like once or twice a week okay, before COVID. Okay. But when it came to being stuck at home because of quarantining or like all these restrictions placed on, you know, t- business times and all this stuff, I found... Right. I, I found that I started to just drink at home a little bit by myself. Right, right. It was never soju, though. It was more like <clears throat> wine, wine or like, you know, beer, something mm. like that. Like while I'm watching TV, yeah, something, something, you light. Know, yeah, something yeah. light, you know. Um, but I, if you inclu- include that now, not so much in this immediate time frame because I'm so busy with this and like all this other stuff. Right. But during when COVID was at its peak, definitely, I'd say three or four times a week just at home. Woo. Yeah, but I mean, I was so bored. Everything was closed and yeah, there was nothing true. to do. And true, everything true. closed like at like nine o'clock. So like, yeah. it was kind of hard to find something to do, you know? Yeah, no, that's true. I mean, were you not that way? Am I the only one that's like this odd duck here? Or I mean, I mean, how often do I drink in a week? I would say, I would say, I don't, it depends on the week, I think. Mm-hmm. I think, I think most days, I think I'll have like a glass of whiskey before I go to bed. Mm, my dad does that too. Just like one or two. Mm. Like I like I don't, I don't drink to get like you know get drunk or mm-hmm. buzzed. Um, like if I wanna like if I drink with friends and stuff, if we're talking about that type of drinking, like a little more, mm-hmm. probably like once or twice a week. Oh yeah, nowadays yeah, yeah. yeah. Like mm. I don't I don't really like meet too many people these days. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, but we're all so busy. Like it's kind yeah, of hard exactly. to do that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. I'm assuming a lot of people are going to be wondering about this. Um, what is your, I guess, your tolerance, your chuyang? So since we're living in the glorious Korea, I'm going to just put it in terms of soju. soju. Yeah. So what do you mean by tolerance? Because <laughs> like, <laughs> am I passed out on the floor or am I like throwing up or am I, you know, just am so I good? Like, how much can you drink before you get like drunk? Like drunk to the point where I'm like enough. Yeah. 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 Okay. I know the answer to this. You think it's going to be a lie, but this is the God's honest truth. I'd say anywhere between two and a half to three bottles. My ass. No, no, two no, 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 no. Three, my ass. No, no, that's over the, I'm not like, I'm not sitting here putting it in, into a funnel and drinking it. It's like <laughs> at one moment, but it's like, you know, over the course of like maybe an hour or two or three or 10. <laughs> like, you know, that's, that's where, that's a, three bottles. I would say is my max, 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 maximum. Three, uh, yeah. Anything more than that in like the room spinning and I'm like, yeah. I'm like on a date with a toilet. So wow. definitely not. But what about you? I, I think I know. Can I get, okay. What's your chujang? Your tolerance? Like, can I guess? Until I get like drunk? Until you get like, oh, I'm wasted, bro. Like, when you, <laughs> until you get to that point. I, I'm going to guess. Tell you me. guess first. Then. You guess first. Okay. Hot or, war, or hot or cold? You guys tell me. No. Mm, I think you're the same as me. No. Four. Four bottles. I think you're pretty spot on. Yeah. I knew it. Things don't change. I think four. I think, um. Just like if I have like two or three bottles, mm-hmm. I think up to like three bottles, it's like it's okay. And then after that third bottle and I go on to the fourth is when I like start getting a little drunk. Uh, is that So at what point are you like inebriated? Like where you're like. Uh, probably after the fourth bottle. You think so? <laughs> I'm probably done. So <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I think I feel like as I've gotten older, I don't I don't no longer drink to that point. Yeah. Like, I know exactly where to stop. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And if and you could you could like threaten me like you know whatever yeah. i still will not do it yeah. i have methods <laughs> to get away from drinking if oh. people are giving me a hard time okay oh. i'm smart i know these things i totally forgot about this so uh when joel and i like a few years ago we used to go out and drink like mm-hmm. before like covid um we would drink soju like this mm-hmm. you know with like friends and every time we would you know cheers like this uh like kombe mm-hmm. 
Let me take a shot of that because we just cheered. We're going to take a shot. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, if you guys notice, when I take a shot, I look up, right? Because I'm tilting the drink into my throat or whatever, right? Right. Joel, when I'm not looking, he used to throw a soju on the ground or he would put it in his mouth and not swallow and then pretend he's drinking water and spit it into his water cup. Now, and he's gotten caught multiple times doing I've that. I've gotten caught, but is it not smart to not <laughs> drink until you pass out? Because like, I don't like doing that. So it, they're not like, you know, like being serious, super serious about it, but it's like, they're like, Ew, how, you're, you're cheating. Like, you know, blah, blah, blah. you know, but, um, I, I, I know where my limit is and I will not go farther than that. And even if that means I have to spit it on the ground or spit it into a <laughs> cup or, you know what I'm saying? Like any of that stuff. I spit it into napkins and towels and all kinds of, it doesn't yeah. even think, you know. Well, I, I think, I, I think it's smart. I think it's good that you know your limits. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's, it's definitely not good to like drink over your limits, you know? Yeah, no, definitely. Cause um, I mean, are we talking about hangovers today? Because ooh, we, I mean, everyone's different, I think. Yeah. But I get some of the most wicked hangovers. Like, oh my God, they're like dehabilitating. I, 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 awful. I think it's also like, I think also like hangovers. I think age has something to do with that too. Well, how does that make sense that I have less severe hangovers than I used to? I don't get it. Maybe because you're not drinking as much. Well, that could be it. The thing is like, I'll know. drink the same amount that I used to, like, let's say five years ago. And like, mm -hmm. I will die the next day. Like you're hooked up to an IV. Like I feel like beep, death. Beep, yeah. Beep. <laughs> yeah. No, like, like, like Joel, like call me. I'm just like, I, I can't answer this right now. Like, mm. no. Cause like it used to be, it used to be like Aaron used to be able to get up and like, be semi-productive like even after a night of drinking yeah but then I, when he when he first started to like not pick up the phone i was like oh my god <laughs> <They're Goku Man. laughs> pretty much saying like i'm getting old yeah you got old yeah. older yeah <laughs> mm. so what is your preferred choice of alcohol when you drink hmm i'm gonna be completely honest with you i prefer one of two types that is either whiskey oh no three types whiskey wine or vodka oh and Soju only comes into play when I'm eating something. Uh, I don't like drinking soju like just straight, just like you know, for the hell of it. Like you know, it's got to this. This is a little bit different though. This 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 is some kind of magic soju. I'm not sure what's going on with this. Yeah, but what? It's just like really good. That's yeah, really good. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I think whiskey, vodka, and what did I say? Wine. Wine. Those yeah. are my three big ones. Whiskey, you just feel so classy when you drink it. <laughs> vodka, you know, you feel a little on the wild side, you know, so that's what you want to get with the vodka. <laughs> and then the wine is when you feel like a classy bitch. And then you just want to like, you know what I'm saying? You put it in the glass. That is wine, baby. So uh, for me, my preferred choice of alcohol, I would definitely say soju. Um, mm -hmm. Whiskey. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, I don't like vodka. How can um, you not? It's just so. It's like it's like a stronger version of soju, pretty much. I don't know. Like the don't... alcohol taste that it has to mm -hmm. it. Like I, I just I can't I can't drink it. Like I, I don't really. Like it. Yeah. Mm. Um, tequila. I like tequila. <laughs> <laughs> I like tequila. Um, wine. I can drink wine. Mm. You had um, you had a wine phase recently. You were like you yeah were like... for like a month. I was like just straight up drinking wine. And then I reverted back to my old ways and went back to soju and whiskey. <laughs> but, um, uh, beer, I don't really like beer too much just because I get too full. Yeah, no, yeah. you definitely do. And you, you, you basically go into the bathroom every like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, it's just, I, I, I can't drink beer. Yeah, um, I think, you know, when you, you said you said tequila. Now, this, this kind of reverts back to me. Um, I, not that I hate tequila. It's just that when I was in college, like that's all that I drank. You ever heard of tequila slammer before? I had so many of those things that like it literally like if I see it, like it'll make me like physically, physically ill. What is a tequila? Sl tequila, tequila slammer. slammer is like tequila. And then you put like, I think like some kind of Sprite or something in it. And then you put a napkin on top and you, you like hit it on the table mm. and it'll like fo foam up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't take that. I also can't take Jaeger bombs uh, because there's just, there's just a whole story there that is just. Not that it tastes bad, because I in the moment I love them, but you know, it was it's just after a series of unfortunate events, I just can't drink it anymore. I know that story too. Oh my heavens! Oh. If you want to tell them, you can tell them. I mean, if you that. know what I mean? Like, never take more than one or two at a time, because and no money, no amount of money is worth, <laughs> is worth that torture. Like, really? <laughs> yeah, but okay. So while we're on the topic of drinking, um, what is one of the reasons that you drink? 
Well, because everyone's reason reasoning is different, right? Yeah, I mean, I think for the most part, originally it was to be social. Like, because you know, like, right. like when you go out, there's only so many things you can do. Like, you could, you know, you could go to a cafe or you know whatever. Like, you know, but I think at some point, like, you know, it lets you loosen up a little bit, lets yeah. you have good conversation. It's like some of the best conversations you and I have ever had have been over alcohol. Yeah. You know what I mean? It really brings out, first of all, because, like, I got my walls way high. So, like, but, you know, something got to break them walls down. Yeah. And alcohol is that. You know what I mean? Not to say that I get, like, you know, I freeze up in front of you or anything. It's not like that. <laughs> it's just, it's more like, it's like, it, you get a more fluid conversation. So, I think, yeah, you know, to have, like, good conversation sometimes, you know. I, I, I think alcohol does bring out good conversation because, you know, people tend mm -hmm. to be more truthful mm -hmm. when they're, like, I guess, a little drunk. Mm -hmm. And I think that does lead to very good conversations, which is, which is one of the reasons why I think I drink mm -hmm. uh, often. Um, another good reason, like you said, is to be social. Yeah. In like, a social environment where everyone's drinking and you're not, you know, you, you might kind of feel like the odd feel like the odd one out. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, that's not to say that anybody should push you or pressure you to drink if exactly. you don't want to. You should to. never be pressured into drinking. Yeah, if you don't want to or you don't, don't like it, don't. Yeah, don't yeah. Ha you don't have to, you know, settle or like, you know, kind of go to someone's level that you don't want to be at. Exactly. You know what I mean? You yeah. never should do that. Yeah. But I can tell you this much. This, I think, I'm pretty sure, like we might, I think we briefly talked about this, is that the whole idea from this podcast came from a very successful, pro productive drinking, like, session. Night, yeah. like session, you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Like, really, it did. Yeah. Like, we, this is how it came up, you know, and then yeah, no, that's true. years ago, you know? If it wasn't for Soju, we would not be sitting here mm, right now talking. We can have Soju to thank for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to the Korean Cowboys podcast. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that is good. Mm, mm, mm. So when you drink, uh -huh. everyone's habits are different, right? Right. What are your drinking habits? Oh, God. <laughs> All right. So I, I tend to be like, there's, there are different types of like drunks. Not right. that I'm completely drunk. You know, when I drink. Right. So it used to be that I get super lit. Like, and I'm, I'm like, I'm like, hey, guys, like, woo. Like, you know, I used to be like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, not so much <laughs> these days. Like, you know, I've actually asked you this. I'm like, I find myself getting more deep and emotional now when I drink. You mentioned this a few weeks ago. You're like, hey, man. Like, like so it, I feel weird because I was never like this before. Yeah. I used to like, I used to be like, yeah, turn on that hip hop. Woo, woo, woo. You know, <laughs> but now it's like, it's like, main thing. You know, it's like I get like really like serious. Like, like, you, like you contemplate on your yeah. life and stuff. It really depends on the day. Sometimes I'm like, hey, turn it up. And then other days I'm like, no, turn it down. <laughs> like <laughs> it's really either way. How about you? <laughs> uh, drinking habits for me. I don't think I have like many drinking tendencies or habits. I think when I get drunk, maybe oh. I, re I repeat myself. I never noticed times. that so much. That, that's what people around me have told me. Like, you mm -hmm. repeat yourself, like, a lot. And I'm like, oh. Really? I don't... I'm drunk, so I don't know. But I guess I do. I think I can I can point out one habit that you have when you drink. What? You pull out your phone, and you call, like, your parents, or you call your friends from L.A., or, like, you, you, you just call people. And then you just, like, <laughs> like BS for, like, an hour. Like, well, it's, it's also because, <laughs> really? it's also because like, you know, like if I'm in a good mood, especially uh -huh. like, you know, like I want to like spread the joy to everyone, you know? Yeah. You know, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Like, you know, you miss them. I, I get it. I mean, yeah. I, I, I call my, my mom and dad and I, sometimes when I drink and my dad's like, you look drunk. And I'm like, I'm like, I am. He's like, how much did you drink? I'm like, I don't know. Like two, three bottles. So he's like, you're such a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know. Mr. Lane, I love you. <laughs> love you, dad. Cause I know you're watching this, you know? but uh, yeah. So, I mean, I think, I think, yeah, those are the, the habits that I have. Nice. Especially now, now that I'm in my <laughs> dirty thirties, I'm, I'm like in your dirty thirties, I'm in my dirty thirties. So like, I, I think I'm slowing down a bit. I get all emotional and stuff. Turn the music down, turn the tears up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So you mentioned earlier, you know, mm -hmm. you know, like when you drink soju, you, you like to eat food. What is like one of your favorite, I guess, drunk foods? Okay. So you're one of your favorite drunk cheese. Okay. You got it twisted. So I don't like to drink after I'm already drunk. I mean, I don't know. I don't like to eat after. I, listen, we're drinking, okay? Are you drunk? So, no, I'm not drunk. <laughs> if I turn red, if I turn red from the neck down, it's because I'm wearing makeup. Just know that. But anyway, <laughs> but uh, no. So I don't like to. I, you know, in Korea, there's a thing called anju. 
Like food, yeah. Which is like food that you drink or eat while you drink. <laughs> Food Hold that you, on. we might have to cut this because this guy's drunk. Okay, I no, think. no, I'm not drunk. Okay, you, <laughs> food that you eat while you drink, anjurago. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. So a, a lot of things that um, you eat when you drink here in Korea specifically. Yeah. Like a lot of people like to like what's a good anju? Like you know like dry fruit or like dried you know fish or like it, dried squid, squid. Yeah, anything like that. Um, nuts. Nuts. Is yeah. It's a popular one. Um, I also think, uh, like stews. Yeah, like anything like tang, like tang, like stews, like mm-hmm. let's say like kimchi jjigae, like kimchi stew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what else is there? There's like a whole bunch. Mm-hmm. There's like tong te tang. Right, right, right. That's something I like personally. It's like it's mm-hmm. like fish stew. Um, because I I know you're a person that like whenever we drink, you're like, oh, we need some kind of tang. The tang do piroe. So then he'll like go and make like ramyun or whatever. Yeah. And then like or he order something, <coughs> you know. But I'm the type of person that like I don't once I eat. I can eat while I'm drinking a meal, not anju, like food, like an actual meal, like dinner. Oh, okay. But okay. I don't like so much eating after I'm already drunk, drunk or have drank, drunken, drinking something. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> like, I don't like to eat after I have had consumed alcohol. Right. Like, I, I don't really like that. Mm. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not a, really a person that has drunchies. If yeah. anything, it's like. I don't know, maybe like a slice of cold pizza or mm. if I'm like really feeling it, I'll put some mustard on some bread and eat that. Like it's not, <laughs> not it's not like it's bread not and like mustard? whole meals. Like I just, I did that the other day because I was like, I was like kind of hungry, but I didn't have nothing in the fridge. So I just put mustard on bread and ate it. But anyway, <laughs> I don't what? like, I don't really like eating anju. Like I'm mm. not, we don't really have drunchies. I mean, I, do you? I mean, no, same with me. Like I don't really like eating too much when I drink. Mm-hmm. Um, whether it be if I'm drinking like during a meal or like if I'm just drinking like with friends, I don't really eat too much. Mm-hmm. But I do think at the end of the night, like I do like to get something in my stomach mm-hmm. just so like I, I don't feel like death the next morning. That's true. I also think one of my favorite things to eat before going to sleep after drinking mm-hmm. is like a burger. Really? I like I like getting something like greasy, but that also has some bread. Mm-hmm. Just to so soak like, up the alcohol. Soak up the alcohol in the yeah, stomach. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, uh, definitely. I mean. But sometimes if I like really hit the gas, you know what I mean? Like that night and I'm like drunk, then I might force myself to eat something just because I'm afraid of being hungover. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, like we said, we mentioned earlier, like what kind of hangovers do you get, you think? Well, I I think if I drink like just like an okay amount, like mm-hmm. a good amount, I'll, like I'll be okay the next day. Like I might like suffer for like an hour or two when I wake mm-hmm. up. But after that, like I'm fine. If I get drunk... And I wake up the next morning, like, I, I cannot get out of bed. Really? You have okay. to get me, like, I, I can wake up, maybe eat something, get something in my stomach, mm-hmm. and then I would have to pass out again. Really? You don't have, like, a, like headaches or anything like that? Do you have that sort of thing? Because everyone's different with what they have for, like, a hangover. Yeah, no, I, I don't really get too many headaches. Mm-hmm. For me, it's mostly just I feel really sluggish mm. the next day. I think that's everybody, though. Yeah, I just feel really sluggish. Like, my stomach is obviously, like, doesn't really feel too good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, besides that, you know. See, I wish I wish I was like you because I'm the type of person that when I get hungover, it's not zero, it's mm-hmm. not 10, it's not 50, it's 100. It's 100. I am literally in the bathroom all day long. Oh, like, yeah. Like, you know, throwing up. Yeah, like, yeah. That's basically what happens. Like, I, 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 don't, I wish I had headaches. but I'm, So, I can't even eat for a day or so because like I, I just think like, I can't keep anything down. So I try, I try my best to not get to that point. Yeah, no, no. It's, a, it's definitely good to drink in moderation. I definitely. Think. Yeah. So if you guys, if you guys are drinking with us right now, drink in moderation, drink in moderation. Don't drink too much. Yeah, of course. Yes, absolutely. Mm. So drinking, you know, drinking is like a big part of like the Korean culture, right? Mm hmm. I would say also the American culture. Too, yeah, actually. no, definitely. I think it's a little bit different on a cultural level. Yeah. You know, especially the etiquette is something that's very different. Yeah, so I was going to get into that drinking mm-hmm. etiquette. Um, what to you is like proper drinking etiquette? Um, well, I, I mean, if you guys were watching the 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 feed on, on YouTube, like you guys can see that I, I when I poured Aaron his soju, I put my hand, you know, on my arm. Yeah, yeah. And like I poured it. It's kind of like a respectful way to pour in Korean. Because you know, he's a son but. You know, because I'm know, a senior. The senior in the enough. industry. So, I, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So you do that usually uh, when you give someone alcohol. And when you drink alcohol, you know, you're supposed to, like, for example, let, I'm going to try it right now. So here. Here, cheers. Okay. So like when you, when in Korea, if you're drinking with someone of seniority, you will turn your head to the Right. Right. 
So the way I learned it is, mm-hmm. um, like you said, if I'm, let's say you're like my senior or whatever, mm-hmm. I pour with two hands, and when you give it to me, I receive with two hands. Right. And like you said, you when you drink, you always cover your mouth. You don't let the senior see, like, mm-hmm. see, right, right, right. like the act of drinking, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. That's what I learned. Okay. I think that's proper etiquette in Korea. Right. Don't quote us on that, but I think, mm. like, that's the gist of it, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's something along those lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, I kind of like, I think it just happens so naturally. I've been here for so long that it just happens so naturally. Like, I don't even think about it. It just, I just do it. Like, yeah. I don't know. Uh, but I think when it comes to America, uh, honestly, I'm not totally sure, <laughs> like, what the drinking etiquette is. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know what the drinking etiquette is in America, to be honest with you. I think as long as you're having a good time, like, I'm yeah, not right? really sure. What the drinking etiquette just is? Just drink and have fun, maybe. Yeah, I but I think like don't make a scene. Or, yeah, you know what uh, I mean. Obviously, like, like that, that goes like for any country. You yeah, know? Like, like wherever the, you're at, you yeah. don't want to make a scene when you're drinking. Yeah, like I don't. I think that there's a big because you know cause seniority and that whole aspect of culture is so prevalent. Yeah, here in in Korea that like and I, I, think, I think that's a good thing. Too. I think so too. Yeah, because you know um I. There's there's certain times where like I don't necessarily love the idea that I like you know if I'm for example like a hesik daddy or something like that like 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 a, a the company dinner or something company gathering or something yeah right? like because there's that that level of hierarchy and you're like, not stepping on any toes it's very comfortable like everyone knows what to do yeah exactly so yeah. like it makes it a very comfortable situation you know what I mean yeah 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 that's why I I kind of like that system in place and if there there's no such thing as like that kind of thing I think in the states like but not like in Korea. In yeah, the States. I think so. Mm. I mean, if any of you guys are like office workers or something in America, yeah, let, let us know. know in the comments. Like, we're not sure. It's been a long time since we lived there. So, yeah, <laughs> um, it's been a while. Yeah. So another thing that a lot of people do when they drink is play games. What's one of like the most popular games in Korea I can think of right now? Let's say there's, there's Udi game. Udi like game. Loyalty. Right. You know, um, that's when you guys like, let's say me and Joel, we're like team captains, mm-hmm. and we do rock, paper, scissors, and we get to choose our teammates. So let's say I won like four games, he won one. Then I'll have four people on my team, and he'll have another person on the team, right? right. So two of you. Mm-hmm. Right. So basically, the, the other three teammates, whatever they don't drink, the team, team captain, captain has, has to, to drink. drink. So yeah. they, try, you know, if I mean, if you're a loyal person, you'll drink more. Yeah. If you're like me, <laughs> and you don't give a damn, then, <laughs> then you'll all drink a little bit. Let me <laughs> tell you, I've, I played this. I played that game with this guy. Don't choose them on your team. Don't put. I'll even admit. Don't put me on your team. Your team for the Udi game because I am not. <laughs> I am not that guy. <laughs> There's another game that um, I don't know what it's called. Like ting 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 Joel, Joel, Joel. There's four movements with the hands, right? right. So one, you, it, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So uh, we, this is kind of a visual thing, but like you know, if you you have to like basically make it so that you, if someone calls me three, then I have to get I have to use three movements exactly. Yeah. Otherwise, I have to drink. I am notoriously awful at this game. Can I try one time? <laughs> okay, let's just try. Lose right. your drinks. All right. Okay. Ting 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 Aaron, no! <laughs> See, I told you I'm bad at this game. Like, you're I, terrible. No, what was that? It no, was I'm, your turn. I know. I'm really bad at this game. Like, I, I get like really confused. Like, <laughs> it's oh, not the game loudy. for me. I like the Baskin Robbins game, but that one's easy. That's uh, all. Baskin Robbins yeah. 31. Mm-hmm. That's a popular game in the states yeah. and in Korea too. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. Basically, um, that game is is like you're like Baskin Robbins 31, and I think you can go up to like one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Each you go in a circle, and you have to be like, oh, like three. And then, you know, whoever ends on 31, you go in a circle. Yeah, you yeah. can do one through three. Whoever ends at 31 loses. They lose and they have to drink. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I like that game because, you know, it's easy. There's a whole bunch of games. Um, yeah. What's a notorious American game? Beer Pong. Beer Pong. I suck at beer pong. He is terrible. <laughs> I kill it on beer pong. We, we, we had a, we had a, like a period where we were playing a lot of beer pong. I used to kill it. Oh, at beer God. Pong. Beer Pong is awful. Ooh, well, why aren't you drinking your Oh, shot, yeah. Right. Friend? Sorry. <laughs> lost. See, you notice he's wise to me. Like I can no longer cheat him on this drinking stuff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, beer pong is a good one. What's another one that they have in in the states that's like really big? It's got to be another one. 
Um, beer pong, I think, is the quintessential because you could even do like soju pong or not soju pong, like other types of pong. I mean, you can substitute yeah. beer with like other. But types I think of that's alcohol. the pretty quintessential. Yeah, you know, like American. I think we yeah, have beer pong is game. probably like the biggest like drinking game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least that we can think of. Yeah, yeah. That's, I think that's the like the we said. Um, whether it be Korean viewers and listeners or mm-hmm. American viewers and listeners, let us know in the comments what type of games you guys like to play. Yes, uh, we're like. We have no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Um, you let us know some games because me and Aaron are bored and we're trying to like uh, find new types of drinking games. Are you bored? Not right now, but I'm like, you know, when we drink, sometimes it slows down. I actually bought something just for this podcast. Uh, d- what, and I actually it? brought it with me to the studio today. I know exactly what you're talking about. I will about. be right back. No, you're not. I'm not doing that. Hey, yes, we will. No, no, no. That's I'll be right no, back. No, no, no. no, no. Oh. I'll be back. All right, so I guess Aaron left to go get something. I don't know what's going on. I'm back. Is there batteries in it? Oh. We should have batteries somewhere around here, I think. Are you drunk? No. (laughs) All right, guys. Sorry about that. I am back with (laughs) the game that I got. The game that I hate. (laughs) The worst game you've ever had. (laughs) You know, since, since we are, you know, drinking a little soju right now, why not just play... Just one game. One game. One game each. One game each. So for those of you guys who are unaware of what Aaron just brought in, because uh, uh, you guys might not be able to see it if you're listening, this is a game called the the lie detector uh, test. So it's like this, this, this metal thing that you put your hand on and you ask a question and it's a truth or truth or lie question. If you answer false, it will shock the hell out of your hand and it hurts. If you are telling the truth, it'll be like, Ding, and you'll be all good. Yeah. So we're going to ask each other incriminating questions and we're <laughs> going to see what the result is. All right. Let's see who puts their hand right, in there first. Do you, rock, pa- rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Once again. Damn. As always, whenever I play this game, I am the winner. All right. So I'll put my hand in first. Okay. Let me turn it on, actually. On and then. No, no, no. We need on voltage. We need the voltage setting. All right, it's setting right now. Okay. It is setting up, guys. Let me bring it over by the mic. Mm -hmm. You guys can hear it. (laughs) Do you hear that? All right. I'm going to stand up and do this because I don't want my hand, just in case it shocks me, I don't want my hand swinging all over the place. I, okay. Well, you do you, man. All right. I got to think of a good question. I mean, you know what? I feel like we're going to be pulling this out a lot in the future. So if you guys ever have any truth or dare, or not truth or dare, truth or lie questions, you guys should definitely send those in also. Yes, you guys can send us your questions yes. at hello at koreancowboys.com. Or you guys can leave them uh, on our Instagram page, which is a Korean Cowboys podcast, or our Twitter, uh, Korean underscore Cowboys. Whatever you guys want. Yes, the master of plugs, Aaron Kwa, coming through. Okay, so we're going to ask a new question. The first question, that, or the only question I'm going to ask, because we're only asking one each. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna press. I'm gonna ask you a question, and I'm gonna press the button. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, Aaron Kwok, do you think mm-hmm. that you are more handsome than me? Yes. I don't think I know. Okay. Stuff like this, you just gotta be chill. You know, be chill, and you know the outcome will be good. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> You got to live by your truth, Aaron. Oh, what? Apparently you don't think. You're threatened by me, my friend. No, what? Unfortunate. Okay, so now uh, we know where Aaron's heart lies. So now it's my turn. And we're going to... This thing's broken. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Okay. All right. So Aaron is uh, has been caught in his lies. So now it is my turn to do my question, okay? All right, Joel. All right. What is a good question I can ask Joel? Keep it appropriate. <laughs> mm, a good question I can ask Joel. Mm-hmm. I'll ask you the same question. Do you think you're better looking than me? Okay. Yes or no? Yes. I am. Better looking than me? Yes. Whatever you say, buddy. I do agree. <laughs> okay so i think you might be on something this might be broken <laughs> i'm not sure we're gonna have to figure this situation out uh okay i put that thing away because like there's something wrong with it oh man that hurt yeah no ow 
<laughs> you know, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pull this out occasionally. Maybe when there's guests or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, since we both lost, I guess we should both yeah. take a shot. Mm, mm, mm. The penalty for lies. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's good. <clears throat> Smooth like butter. All right. <laughs> so we talked about proper drinking etiquette. Um, how about tips or advice on? How to not be hung over the next day. Okay. Well, let's start with you. You must have a ritual. Because I think every person has their own. Uh, like I briefly mentioned earlier this episode, I think just eating something before I go to sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, it does help my stomach. It soothes my stomach a little bit. Right. So soothes my stomach a little bit. What was that? Okay. I'm sorry. I, 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 like, I, my pronunciation <laughs> wasn't too good. Um, <laughs> no, no I, I think it does help like ease my stomach a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I do feel a little better mm -hmm. um, as opposed to like if I didn't eat anything. Right. Like, the next day I do feel a little better. Um, another tip on how not to be hungover. Drink a lot of water. Okay. I think before you go to sleep, drink a lot of water. I think keeping yourself hydrated is a uh, key. Right. And uh, I mean, that those are all the tips I have. I, really? I think, I think, like you said, for every person is different. I have a more rigorous routine when it comes to this. So usually I try to, I try to keep a golden rule to, to prevent a hangover. No drinks two and a half hours before you go to sleep. That is mm. a really, really good one to have. Cause if you go to bed drunk, you'll either wake up drunk or wake up sick. That's what I like, you know, through years and years of experience, Really, uh, that's where I come from. And also I make sure to drink at least a liter of water right before I fall asleep. A liter of a water? Liter of water. That is, an, a, that is a rule that I have. Also, I make sure that I have something in my stomach. It doesn't have to be like, you know, a smorgasbord of food, but it's got to be like something. Um, other than that, I always, always, always take a multivitamin before I go to bed. Oh, yeah. I always. have heard that is good for you. If I don't, the next day I find that I am significantly more hungover. Really? And I would rather drink the liter of water and eat the food and do all that stuff than be hung over the next day. It is the sure. worst. Yeah. So, yeah, I think if you guys are not that you guys um, should you guys should definitely drink to your specific tolerance. Right. Don't try to prove nothing. There's nothing to prove. Yeah. But if you guys do get drunk, then that is something that I found really, really helps me when I'm drinking. Yeah. Yeah. Like the best tip that we can give you guys on how to not be hung, be hung over the next day is probably drink less. Drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. Yeah, in moderation. Yeah, in moderation. Everything in moderation is good, you know. So uh, definitely drink in moderation so you can still have a good time, but you're not having a miserable day the next day. Yeah. Yes. All right. So I guess today, I guess it's time for us to wrap it up. We mm. talked about drinking, drinking etiquette, drinking games, our drinking habits, what yes. we like to drink. Prevent hangovers. Prevent preventing hangovers. <laughs> um, any advice or tips for people who, you know, might might not be drinkers right now, but like, you know, might start drinking like once they get of age or, you know. Okay. Well, I think that definitely um, it's, it's a learning process for everybody. Um, and I think when you first start, start with something a little bit on the, uh, what do you call it? Lighter side, something like a nice wine cooler or something, you know, S ease into it. Yeah. Don't start with hard liquor. Cause if yeah. you do, you're going <laughs> to, it's going to be rough. Yeah. So, you know, start slow and go at your own pace. Yes. And don't ever, ever, ever let somebody pressure you into drinking that if you don't want to. Of course. Yeah. So that's, I think that's part of being responsible. And then you'll find that you won't have a uh, miserable hangover like I've had so many times in my life. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? Um, I think, you know, just drinking in moderation, mm -hmm. being responsible while you drink, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, just don't be forced into drinking a lot. You know, if you don't want to drink, don't drink. Mm-hmm. And if you do want to drink, you know, just don't drink too much. Yes. Everything in moderation is good. Mm -hmm. And and definitely there's a there's an age limit or an age exactly. like restriction on alcohol for a reason. Don't drink before the age of, you know, wherever you live. Exactly. Where yeah. it's legal. You should not do that. Uh, there is an appropriate time and place to drink. And you guys should all drink responsibly. Yes. Yes. So I think with that, we should take this last shot of this fabulous soju that we've... Uh, so graciously been provided. Yeah, I might have to. I might have to try to buy some more. Yeah, we gotta. Drink. We gotta. It's really good. We gotta. We gotta work it. Try to buy some more of this. So yeah, we'll take this last shot, everybody. Everybody that's drinking with us today on this podcast, bottoms up. Bottoms up. Bottoms, bottoms up. up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. All right. Cheers to the Korean Cowboys. The our Korean lovely Cowboys. listeners. Oh, after the shot, you know what we got to do. I know. <sighs> Yee! <laughs> <laughs>
Ha! Bye, All right, guys. guys. See you guys next week. <laughs>